Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this video. I'm on a service call today. We got a customer called in a complaint of not enough cooling. So we got an Aon unit up here. It's got four compressors. Um, I got three compressors down. And I want to show you something that happens a lot with these type of units. Uh, I think it would help you if you guys are troubleshooting this, uh, give you a place to start if you're not too familiar with these systems. So let's get right into it and I'll show you what we got. So when I arrived on site, number two compressor was running. All the other compressors were calling, but we didn't have any operations out of them. So I, my experience, I have seen this issue quite a few times uh, with other buildings that have the similar type of units. This is the first time at this particular location. But what happens is one of these contactors will fail, one of the compressor contactors. And when, they, when the coil goes bad, it draws too much amperage and it ends up making the time delays and the guaranteed off timers go bad. And you can see this one, you can actually see it's kind of melted up on top there. That uh, I noticed that as soon as I got here. Um, that's a pretty common thing to happen with these machines. Uh, I'm gonna end up getting new time delays, new guaranteed off timers, and uh, I'm just gonna replace all the contactors, even the one that is working this way. It's the beginning of summer. We don't want to have them having any issues uh, continuing throughout the year. So we'll get them everything new. So we'll be in pretty good shape. Um, <clears throat> so what I ended up doing was just checking my voltages. Aon has pretty good wiring diagrams, as you can see over here. I mean, it's color coded and everything's in order. Usually they're pretty uh, spot on. So our guaranteed off timer is the last thing then the time delay relay before the compressor contactor so I always start with there check the voltages on the terminal the timers and I could tell like this one for instance I had 24 volts coming in but that read that delay is shot so it's just it's never gonna come out I actually did jump that out and uh, the contactor must be basically grounded because uh, you know the coils grounded because it sucked so much VA that everything shut down in the machine so um, yeah, so I figured I'd just go over this real quick for you guys. If uh, you're on a job site with a similar type of machine, it might save you a lot of time. So another thing I'm going to do to alleviate this problem from happening again, you know, these, uh, you can see on these little ICM delays, it says 1.5 amp max. So I'm going to end up putting a fuse protection in between the contactor and the delay. This way, if the contactor coil does fail again, and it draws more, I'll maybe I'll put like a one amp fuse in there. If it draws more than one amp, it'll blow the fuse and it won't wipe out our con our delays. But only you know, contactor goes bad. We got some protection there, so it's not a bad way to uh, you know keep um, keep other components from going bad unnecessarily. You know, because once once these these contactor coils go bad, they draw more than that 1.5 amps, and that's why you get end up with that melting like that's got there. So. Um, definitely uh, it's not a bad idea to add some sort of protection when you can. I'll just get some sort of inline fuse and just wire it right in when I replace all those uh, uh, delays. All right. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, if you guys want to keep seeing more videos like this, you know, give me a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, you know, comment, any questions, I'll get back to you guys. I'm on the roof every day working on units, so I'm going to keep posting the content. Uh, stuff that would be informative and helpful for anybody out there. I mean, YouTube and Google and everything, the internet is a great tool for someone working on something unfamiliar. So, uh, you know, hit that notification button if you don't want to miss a thing. Thanks again for watching.